Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is August 31st, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I am going to go into another iteration of my climate voices series that I am going to do once a week, hopefully every Thursday. Uh, yesterday's I missed because I had a radio interview, but I am going to catch up today. But for a framer for this, this present climate voices subject matter, I'd just like to note that fossil fuel industry continues to spend money on advertising campaigns aimed at targeting climate change messaging. And primarily, these campaigns have been aimed at climate change denying front groups that spread fear, uncertainty, and doubt over, over the issue of human-caused climate change, clouding it up, trying to confuse the issue in the minds of the public. And just as a climate communicator, I, I myself have been targeted for over six years by climate change denial messaging that has, in my opinion, specifically been aimed at trying to influence my opinion and my reporting on the matter. I'd just like to add that there, there, there's another separate but I, I think related group that issues from the same source. And these are climate doomers. Th these are people who are basically, the, the message that they are sending to me and apparently a number of other climate communicators and climate scientists are that it's hopeless, we should all give up, it doesn't matter, we should just burn fossil fuels anyway. Both of these messages are false, both of the messages are harmful. Uh, a couple of the climate communicators that I'm going to highlight today have talked on this subject, so I just wanted to bring this subject to the fore and note this new report highlighted by 350.org that just over the last year, Exxon gave $1.5 million to climate change denying front groups. And this is a part of a continuing marketing, I call it a misinformation campaign to try and confuse the public. So one of the climate communicators that I would like to elevate and bring to the fore is Dr. Genevieve Gunter. And Genevieve Gunter is a, has a PhD in Renaissance Lit, but she is very focused on climate communication and advocating for mainstream media reports to include information about climate change. And just one example is, uh, I'll, just, I'll just give you one example. In the Great Lakes, there, there's an island that is typically seasonally inhabited by wolves, and the wolves traverse the ice to get to the island. And because the ice is receding in the Great Lakes due to human-caused climate change, the wolves now can't get to this island, and the island is no longer seasonally inhabited by wolves. Recent media reports have left out mention of human-caused climate change and have simply reported on the fact that wolves have disappeared from the island. What Genevieve does is to, to try and advocate for mainstream media sources to add the climate change context, which would greatly help inform the public. It's also worth noting that Genevieve has recently been talking a, a, about a shift in the mainstream media more to a climate doom perspective as, as events become more, extreme events become more intense, which may be the result of, of, of the kind of targeting that I talked about earlier. And, and she notes that um, now that we've seen the climate stuff regularly hit regularly hitting the fan the mainstream media invested in business as usual as basically in a year stopped airing the uncertainty denialist argument and started promoting its human nature or we're already doomed story right and left so in my opinion some good good points from dr genevieve gunter here and i just like to promote her I will put her Twitter feed link in, in the link section and uh, please follow and support her media 
information and an education campaign as it relates to human-caused climate change. Another climate communicator that who, who is, a, a, in my, well, a good internet friend of mine, I've never met him in person, is uh, Nevin, who, who runs the Arctic Sea Ice blog, the Arctic Sea Ice graphs page, which, which I use very frequently, and the Arctic Sea Ice discussion forums, which are, are quite lively during times of melt season and are a good source of information and, and feedback and discussion. Nevin's articles are always spot on. He, he obviously puts a lot of time into his articles and a lot of research. And I would just like to go ahead and promote the Arctic Sea Ice blog. Uh, it it is, is an excellent source of Arctic Sea Ice related information. And one of the first, first followers in, in the internet media of Arctic Sea Ice lost trends on a consistent basis. So the, the last climate communicator I'd like to highlight here is someone that I just recently stumbled upon, Kate Marvel, who is a climate scientist and has put together a, a very good TED talk on the issue of, of clouds and how they influence climate and how clouds uh, are not going to, to save us from human-caused climate change I'm going to add a, add a caveat to this statement saying the, really the only thing that can save us from human-caused climate change is to halt fossil fuel burning and as a follow-on learn how to reinvigorate carbon sinks, natural carbon sinks, and, and learn how to draw down more carbon from the Earth's atmosphere. But namely halting fossil fuel burning and halting human-related carbon emissions. But so, so, but Kate is, is an expert on atmospheric science as it relates to climate change and has put together this excellent TED talk about clouds and climate change. And I'm gonna go ahead and add the link to this in, in the link section. I'd also like to note that it appears that Kate has also been targeted by climate doomers. I'd just like to highlight a recent tweet where she is talking about how, for her own sanity, she has muted the phrase doomed from notifications and her timeline from people she doesn't follow. So, so just another in indicator to me that climate scientists and climate communicators are getting tar targeted by this harmful climate doomerism me uh, message. And it seems to me that, that, that others, such as Dr. Michael Mann and uh, another uh, meteorologist who, who's a good internet friend of mine, Guy Walton, it seem to be getting hit with the same thing. I'm getting hit with it. So this appears to be a mass marketing campaign, a mass messaging campaign aimed at influencing the messengers the, the actual factual messengers and concerned messengers on human-caused climate change. And in my opinion, it's, it, it's very harmful. So, so just a note with, and, and a, a, a bit of a warning for, for those of you who are out there in the climate sphere, that, that climate doomerism is ramping up and appears to be targeting key communicators on the issue. So just some people I would encourage you to follow. There are many, 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 many positive voices on the issue of human-caused climate change. I will do my best to try to talk about everyone that I have run into in my various travels whom I respect and whom I would like to promote as, as good sources of climate information. So thank you for joining me and I will be chatting with you soon.